morning, everyone. Okay, so I know it's a day late. I'm sorry, again, it's... I'm not... I'm lazy. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be this way. I just am. And welcome to another episode to Joe's Classless Kitchen! Okay, so today what we're going to be making is a french fry casserole. Okay, so what you're going to need is french fries, whatever meat of your choice. We have some frozen meatballs in our house right now, and cheese. All right, let's get cracking. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're going to get take some potatoes. So what we're gonna do is we're going to pour our potatoes into the bowl. All right, so here we have our potatoes. We're gonna pop them in the microwave until they're frozen, until they're not frozen. You smush, we're not classy here. We're not a five-star restaurant. Who said we were a restaurant? Too much. This is home meals, okay? Home. We eat what we feel like. All right, so now that all your french fries have been smushed into what seems to be smashed potatoes, we're gonna go get another bowl. Make sure you have a microwave-safe bowl. So now that we're done with our potatoes, what we're going to do is we're going to take whatever meat you prefer. Today, we're using meatballs. I don't care how much you take. Take as much as you want. Take as little as much as you want. It's your meal. You eat it how you eat it. And I know, a time you guys are going off to college, and you're gonna have to be on a meal plan. And I'm just helping you learn how to cook because I'm at home and I'm lonely. Alright, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to defrost your meatball. Alright, let's check the meatball. Okay, so they seem mostly defrosted. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your fork and knife again, and you're just gonna chop them and smush them and do it the same what you did with. All right, so now that we've made our meatballs look like actual roadkill, okay, we're going to add them to your potato. All right, sorry about this. Sorry about the camera change. My camera can only record 20 minutes at a time, and it cut off literally right before I was a chain. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is that you can either use a microwave or a toaster oven. So now that you have your concoction, if you look inside the mic the toaster oven, there's a little thing, little tray where you can cook things on. You're gonna take this part out. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to line this entire thing with aluminum foil. And the reason why you'd line this entire thing with aluminum foil is so that you don't have to clean up afterwards. It makes it a lot easier. So now what you're gonna do is that you're going to take your potatoes and your meat and you're gonna plop them in there. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to go and take your fork and you're going to go and line it as evenly as possible as you can. Can you see it right? Is it right? Is it in focus? Okay, focus back on me. So now that you have everything ready, I'm gonna teach you how to use a toaster oven. I'm usually put it on about 350 degrees, maybe 10 minutes. You don't wanna put it in longer. There are toast options. You could use the toast options if you want. It depends on how hot 
how uh, quickly you want to turn your microwave oven into a uh, fire pit. All right, now that it's all done, uh, you don't want to touch any part of it except for the handle, okay? I usually use my towel. All right, so now that's done, you're gonna go in, reach in and take it out. And put it somewhere safe where it could cool down and this is what it looks like. All right, this is what your casserole looks like. All right, you're gonna let it cool down and then you're just gonna eat it. Take your fork, take your bowl or your plate or whatever you're gonna eat on, whatever floats your boat. Make sure you don't burn yourself. This is the dangerous part. This is the dangerous part. And be careful you don't get any aluminum foil in your food because that's not gonna be taste or healthy or good for you. And let's take a bite, see what it tastes like. All right, so that's how you make a French fry casserole. All right, if you liked what I made, hit that like button. If you think I should make something, leave it in the comments below. I put out videos every middle of the week-ish. And if you want to see me next week, hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all next week. Bye.